okay so let's start with basics so tell me some benefits or the uh, points over aura of lwc uh, can you can you please repeat the question some points okay which makes web components much better than uh, aura components actually aura framework is older uh, framework and we can it uh, lwc is a better performance than the aura uh, than the aura and uh, yeah for the security purpose uh, also writing web component is much better than aura Mm -hmm. uh, there is some functionality which uh, AWC is not supported right now. So, yeah, this is one drawback for the AWC that like a global function, we cannot use global function in AWC, but with the help of Aura, we can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and Salpos is come, uh, now in making more changes on uh, AWC part than the Aura. So, I think the future is AWC now. Okay. So, how do we use this AWC component in VF pages? Okay, so directly we cannot use AWC component in VF pages, but if we want to uh, use AWC pages in VF pages, then with the help of lightning out, we can do that. Do and again, we have to uh, again we have to use that writing web component inside Ola application with the help of lightning out, and uh, we have to embed that writing Ola component uh, in the VF page. Okay, can we use this web components inside Ola component? Uh, yeah. Okay. How? Uh, by just uh, calling that name of the writing web component inside Aura. Okay. And Aura inside LWC? Uh, no. Right now, we cannot uh, use Aura inside LWC. Okay. So, what is the difference between connected callback and render callback? And okay. When to use which function? Yeah. Basically, connected callback is uh, invoked when the instance of the component, component instance is uh, uh, insert into DOM mm -hmm. and the render callback is whenever the component is changes it again rendered connected callback only invoke uh, one time mm -hmm. but for the render callback it will invoke multiple times okay so can we call our uh, apex method inside this connected callback uh, yeah i think we can call apex method inside connected callback if the yeah yeah and inside render callback uh, yes, we can do that, but as I mentioned, it is uh, multi it will invoke multiple times, so it is not a best practice, I think. Okay, so can we avoid calling off render callback uh, multiple times, or can I avoid that in uh, the logic which is written inside this render callback should be executed once? Uh, yeah, we can do that yeah, the, with the help of Boolean property has rendered, we can avoid to invoke only one time. Okay, so in case of parent file components. Okay, so okay. which function is called first in uh, in this connected callback? Uh, parent component. And the render callback? In case of render callback? Uh, render callback so from child component, then parent component, from child to parent. Okay, can you tell me the different functions we have in this life cycle? Okay, so first one is the connected callback, so, uh, connected callback. Oh, sorry, constructor, connected callback, disconnected callback, uh, render callback, and error callback. Okay, and what are the different methods to call our uh, Apex com uh, method inside this web components? Uh, we can call it with the help of wire method, yeah, with the help of imperative. And what is the difference between both? Uh, basically, when we want to so, perform some point and click action, perform, then we go with the imperative. And uh, with the help of wire, we can, it is a reactive property, reactive wire service. So whenever the property changes, again, the server call is hit. Yeah, again, the Apex method is called. Uh, so with the, that we can, according to our functionality, we can uh, choose that. Okay, so have you used getter setter method in your components? Getter setter, I use get, getter method only, not the setter thing. So why yeah. do you use this get method? It uh, return our desired uh, des desired input. It will return that from the HTML component. Uh, from JS. From JS. Okay, so how do we pass value or how do we connect uh, the components if we, I want to pass value from child to parent? Okay, when we want to pass the value from child to parent uh, with the help of uh, event custom event mm -hmm. we can do that first we need to create and custom event and then we need to dispatch that event and in the parent component we have to call that child component inside parent component and 
we have to mention that on just event name or custom event name okay and yep. have you used popsub also uh yeah my second project i have used popsub but recently i use lms also okay so what is the difference between both you find yeah basically uh, popsub is communication between two component which are not in a same dom tree mm-hmm. and we cannot communicate from aws component to visual force component or any and in lms we can communicate between two component which are across the dom so like between the visual force pages or the component and aws component with the pop lms we can do that and popsub is based on uh, javascript uh, and lms is based on the self post uh, writing messaging channel mm-hmm. okay okay so let's suppose in my component i have wire method there okay then the connected callback is there okay and render callback is also there so what will be the execution here when you find in your debug or in your console so what will going to execute first here okay uh, just give me one minute i need to think here yeah sure sure yeah so i think first is a uh, i think first one is connect callback then the wire then the render method okay so why wire in why wire after connected callback uh the instance of the component is uh insert into dom so after that the wire method is invoke i think okay any other reason because the data we want is already fetched by the wire mm-hmm. with the in the after the connected callback that's why i think okay so uh, have you worked on epic trigger also yeah okay so can you tell me the best practices to write trigger okay basically one object should have only one trigger uh, we have to use future method either future notation yeah uh, also uh, avoid using hard coding id uh, you we have to use the uh, handler class for the trigger and avoid the recursion also uh, okay so the, in first point you say one trigger per object okay so yes. wa- what is the reason behind this actually we can write multiple triggers for the object but uh, in that scenario the order of execution of trigger we cannot specify so that's why we go with the one object one trigger okay and now let's move to asynchronous apex so here uh, have you worked on this asynchronous part yes yes so can we call batch apex from batch apex one from another yes we can call batch apex in a batch uh, batch apex in batch apex but only in a finish method only in finish method okay so is there any limit also to how many batch we can call simultaneously uh i am not uh, sure about it okay, I, mean, so i don't know about it and can we call future methods also from batch apex uh no we cannot call future method inside batch and if we call it? future method inside uh yeah a suppose does not allow to call future method inside a batch okay and if we call future method inside the batch execute method then we get the error that uh, we are uh, future method cannot be called from the batch execute on the future and if we call future method inside a finish method then we get either too many future method one and inside and in this batch apex okay first method we have start method okay where we used to yes. return the uh, records to the second function so yeah. can we perform any custom logic also there in this function or just we need to query out the records here yeah we can write the custom logic but the return type of the start method is a query locator Mm-hmm. yeah so uh, first uh, first line in first line i will going to retrieve my records okay using this sql then on this retrieved okay. uh, records i will going to perform some of the logic like uh, i want to embed some of the on the string field i want to embed some more other string there okay then after doing this i will going to return the same list so can we do this yeah but we have to use a database dot retrieve i think mm-hmm. okay and what is the difference between database dot insert and the insert okay uh, basically when we use insert statement mm-hmm. then uh, uh, let's say i am assuming one example i am i have to insert 100 record in that 100 record 20 record is a fault record which are not going to save in a database if i use insert keyword then uh, all the you know, transaction has been rolled back and no record has been going to save in database but if i use database dot insert 
then the only successful record has been going to save in database and the unsuccessful record or failed record are not going to that database okay okay now can you explain me the security model in salesforce uh yeah salesforce provided security for the object object level security field level security and also record level security uh, object level security and field level security are provided by the by provided inside the profile in itself and for the record level security we have um, owd and also in owd we have uh, sharing setting the role key and manual manual sharing okay so what if the owd of a object is set as private what will happen okay if the owd is private then the let assume two users then they cannot see each other data each other records okay and in case of read only uh the another user can see user one record but he cannot edit that okay so how do how we can enforce this uh, security uh, on this apex classes so by default they will going to run in a system mode right now i want to run them in yeah, a yeah. user mode so how we can do this uh yeah we can do that with the help of with sharing keyword if we enforce with sharing keyword to our class then it will run on a so using this with sharing keyword sharing. okay so using this with sharing keyword only the record level security will be enforced on this apex class now i want oh, to yes. yeah i want to check for profiles and the permission sets and field level security also so then how you can do this okay uh, we have to go with the schema i think schema proof okay you okay. can go with the schema mm -hmm. 